Oh, so come on, come here, wife, please. Come on, she's going to be peace. Eh? <laughs> okay. I don't like money here, but there's too many things in the way. Until I give it up. Guys. Yesterday, Kid Wire's mom was totally and absolutely proud of her son. Hi guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Vicky. And if you've seen me for the very first time, hi. Please consider to hit on the red subscribe button because here we do some Amebo Apropo and we gist about everything and anything. Here on this channel, you are in for a wonderful ride. You will definitely, definitely love this channel please guys subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment in the comment section okay so guys without wasting much of your time let me just go on to tell you guys that yesterday after the indomie presentation done by kidwire and the rest of the housemates oh kidwire's mom was super duper proud of her son and then she came online and she was even shedding tears of joy or should i say she was just shedding tears bursting out of excitement being proud of her son not forgetting his heritage and knowing more about their poco or pocho or whatever meal that it is that kidwire actually spoke about i'm right now overwhelmed um you know i'm overwhelmed and i'm happy um i'm so so happy for 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 kidwire and and you know and the discipline and and the fact that um he hasn't forgotten where he's from uh the fact that he's he's appreciated the my pocho and and uh <laughs> it brought tears to my eyes and i wanted to share this very moment with you that i, I am so so overwhelmed i thank you guys i might be looking stupid right now but i'm i'm just i'm just so grateful to god Thank you guys. Please vote for him. I mean, he's <coughs> he's blown my mind off. Thank you. And anyone who knows my pocho knows. Uh, even my enemies love my pocho. Isn't it? Pocho. Yes, as you can see, that woman was really excited and proud of her son. And guys, there is something that has been buzzing the internet. Like, there is something that has been scattering Twitter and making people to talk, 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 talk. Talk, 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 talk. <laughs> anyway, guys, yesterday, Nengi and Kidwire, they really had a wonderful time. Like, they were playing together. We played together in the morning and in the afternoon, they actually repeated it. You understand? First of all, it was Nengi and Kidwire at the gym. Nengi and Kidwire actually had this, like, G um, Kidwire actually carried Nengi, and it made a lot of people on Twitter, a lot of people on the internet, even talking, and it even got to the extent that even Mr. Ozo was even talking about it. And then later in the day, they even continued their playfulness. <laughs> We were just running around and playing and catching their groove and so for some reason i will tell you that i feel nengi is a very much comfortable with kid wire plays with kid wire she's always talking with kid wire like you see her coming more alive whenever she's with kid wire because i feel i feel like it is because she is more or less like very 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 comfortable with him you get because it even got ozo talking like ozo was not catching the vibe or ozo actually was not finding it funny and you and i know that ozo is a very very jealous person because whenever Ozo sees Nengi with another person, I don't know if I, sh I should feel he f say he feels intimidated or he feels jealous. Because some jealousy mostly come out of like um, extreme problem per se, but that's not what I'm saying that Ozo actually have. But I'm actually saying that Ozo was not having it, which actually made them have this conversation at night, and they were certainly their family matter in the night. Hey, 
So that's why you left and went to. Don't, no, I'm telling you, but honestly, that's why I left. Uh, but you know, okay. I see. But it wouldn't happen. Like, it'll never happen again. Like, this was. But it's real, but chill. It but can't happen. It can't okay, happen. No, no, chill. Like, okay. I'm not even, first of all, I'm not going to do any exercises with you anymore. So. Why? Because I won't. Who are you doing exercises with? Since you won't, I would do on my own. No, 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 we we're still considering together. Mm. Yes, also was just talking about why they, he actually left her in the gym and then he was just explaining to Ozo that he, she actually really feels comfortable that Kidwire is her only playmate in this house. We also know that Ozo and Nengi, they hardly play together. All they do is sit down, talk, sit down, have a conversation and sometimes man cannot be always serious as he can, he, as you all know that we cannot always be serious. Sometimes maybe they talk, sometimes maybe they play. Whenever Ozo and Nengi are sitting down, they are either discussing one thing or the other but you hardly see them play that like vibe together kind of play or play the kind of play that you would expect two friends to actually play. So I feel like Nengi feels a little bit more comfortable playing such play with Ozo but people have been talking people have been saying that eh, Nengi want to snatch Erica's guy eh, Nengi is flirting I don't understand what you guys call flirting do you guys call someone playing with someone flirting as in a girl cannot play with a boy again is your mind not that dirty you you should check him out because at this very point the kind of things you guys are even talking about just makes me wonder and I'm like Jesus Christ what are these people talking about you get because this is just an innocent play what are you guys judging and condemning form anyway they had that conversation and i feel like that is by the way what do you guys think about the play or what do you guys think about that um that relationship between kidwire and nengi are you guys saying that there is are you guys saying that there is more to it or you're just feeling like it's okay for two people to play together you get so moving on last night lecon actually spent the night on dorothy's bed yeah, oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah yeah we're having that again not like they are doing anything lecon actually went to lie with um um dorothy and then when he wanted to leave dorothy was like no 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 please lie with me you know? and lecon was like men are scarce <laughs> Guys, that's cars. And when we just came, everybody says feels relationship is the go to. Just start selecting, selecting, selecting. I'm like, ah. I'm like mad. Of course, men are scarce in the house because, like, like you heard Dorothy just say now, it all feels like this whole BB Ninja season five lockdown is more or less like a relationship kind of season you get because other season we are not like that. You will see that other season people there are other things happening, but this particular season is more or less like this person is in a relationship, that person is in a relationship. If you're not in a relationship, it feels like you don't belong there, or it feels like you're 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 losing out, or it feels like you're slacking kind of you get. So that's what Dorothy was just saying because at the beginning of the show it wasn't looking like that but not even at the beginning it just felt like a few days into the show it wasn't looking like that but all of a sudden the whole housemates looking for one relationship or the other in fact the whole problem in the house of big brother Ninja is either coming from one entanglement triangle or one relationship or the other in fact the whole source of the season is coming from a relationship so that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching my video i hope you enjoy it i just felt like let me come on here and give you the gist as the hot and not dull you guys and keep you guys up to date on this particular matter please give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment in the comment section and if you've not subscribed to my channel pico now edjo hit on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that youtube will inform you whenever i post a new video thank you so very much for watching i'll see you in my next one bye guys